Welcome back to the program, Pastor William here, and you will listen to Moments of Inspiration. We are live on air this morning, and we are having a tremendous time talking about the goodness of the living God. You know what, friend? You can give us a call at the studios right now, or you can test us on 0421-256-697. You can also visit us on Facebook this morning and tell us what your own thoughts are about this program. Do you have a need? Do you have a request? Well, let us know what the Lord is doing in your life. We're going to go back now with our many moments with our, our Pastor Gordon Manche, our Pastor of the River of Love Church, here in Malta. Pastor Gordon, uh, there are people who are also listening right now saying, how can I know this Jesus? I want to be free from my sin, well, from my darkness. Yeah, what you we can know that Jesus right now. Do you know that Jesus knows that you're watching this program? Mm -hmm. Do you know that Jesus knows that you hurt? Do you know Jesus cares that you hurt? And the Bible says, all you who are burdened and heavy laden, come to me and I will give you rest. And what you need to do is just, even in a simple gesture, close your eyes. And if you're ready to receive Jesus, say the simple prayer, really mean it from your heart, and you're setting yourself for a life of beautiful walk with Jesus right now. You don't need to die until you experience heaven. You can start experiencing heaven right now by experiencing Jesus. Say this prayer from, a, from, from your heart. Repeat with me. Heavenly Father, I thank you for Jesus. I believe you're a good God. The Bible tells me that you sent your son Jesus to die for me on the cross. I believe this, Father. I believe this because you love me and you care for me. I ask you, Lord, take this heaviness away from me. Break every bondage from my life. Any form of addiction, drugs, alcohol, gambling, Break it from my life by the power of your son, Jesus. I ask you, Jesus, right now, come into my heart. Be the Lord, the master, the ruler of my life. I have sinned against you, but I ask you to forgive me. I repent of my sin. Cleanse me by your precious blood. And I ask you now, Father, use me for your glory. Lead me and guide me by your Holy Spirit so that I may be the person that you've called me to be. I believe you've heard me, Lord. I believe now I am saved. I am forgiven of all my sins. And I believe, Lord, that I'm a child of God, washed by the blood of the Lamb, sealed by the Holy Spirit. And right now, this very moment, my name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I say no to Satan. I say no to sin. I say no to sickness. And everything that does not come from my Father in heaven, I reject it. I belong to Jesus. I'm a child of God. And I give you thanks and glory. In Jesus' name, Father. Amen. Amen. If you pray that prayer, mm -hmm. today you have it to the life. Today you are a brand new creation. Now what you need to do is start reading the Bible every day. The New Testament especially. Ask the Holy Spirit to lead you. Get into a good Bible teaching church. Pastor William can lead you in that and grow in the relationship pray pray does not mean you repeat a prayer or a bunch of prayers pray is just simply means talking to god that's it mm -hmm. just like you're talking to me like i'm talking to you right now you just talk from your heart that's all from your heart and always address the father in the name of jesus mm -hmm. and you will know and you will see what a difference this will make into your life and even better yet you will never go to hell will go to heaven because now Jesus has written your name in the Lamb's book of life and he's promised you according to his own word John 3 16 17 and 18 and 1st John chapter 5 verse uh, 11 through 13 that these things have been written so that you may know you don't need to wonder hope or try to make it now it's done that these things have been written so that you may know that you have now eternal life mm -hmm. and this life is not in a religion it's not in a system. It's not in how good we are. This life is in His Son, Jesus. If you have Jesus, you have everything. If you have everything and you don't have Jesus, you have nothing. True. True. Have Pastor it. Gordon, there is a question that gets asked around the world with young people. They said, you know, the Bible is not relevant today. Drugs and alcohol is a captivity in young people's lives. So, as a pastor and as a people that you, you, you've also seen young people coming to the Lord, so what, what, what would you tell young people right now listening, how they can get free from this addiction in their lives? My dear precious friends, I'm, 
I'm not that old. I, I'm considerably young myself. <laughs> but I've also was in the world one day. I've always experienced things that some of you are experiencing. But I've always had a void and an emptiness in my heart. Mm. And I always had a fear. What if there truly is hell? Am I going there? I read the Bible. I've even heard and read and watched testimonies on TV of people who truly have experienced by a supernatural grace and, and, and sovereign act of God where they have seen hell or heaven. People who've died and returned, they call them near-death experience and the There is a hell, Jesus talks about it. Mm. And let me tell you something, you don't want to go there. Many of you who are doing meddling with drugs, sex, pornography, I understand you and God understands you. He knows that we're weak by ourselves. Without Jesus, I've always said to myself, I would be a monster without Jesus. Without Jesus, I would be a monster. But Jesus has made me a child of God. And I'll tell you what, what you're doing is you're trying to fill your life with happiness. Yeah. That's what you're searching for. You don't really care for drugs per se. You don't really care for anything per se in particular. All you're doing is you're trying to fill your life with a purpose. And you're discovering that the more you do these things, they leave you more purposeless, more empty. But what you need to do is turn to Jesus like we've already talked about. And when Jesus comes into your life, not only does He fill you, but He makes you overflow. That the drink, that spirit which you're drinking to make yourself drunk and happy, now you can get the Holy Spirit and you remain really happy. And you make other, thing, other people happy with the same spirit you get yourself filled with. And that's the Holy Spirit. So, yes, these things, are, these, are, these things are common, these things, are, these things happen nowadays, but that's because you have not yet experienced the power of God. Mm. And the power of God is the gospel, the good news that Jesus loves you, He died for you, and He rose again for you. And if you have Him, you will experience the goodness and the power of, the, of, the life, of God in your life. So, this is what you need to do. Tend to Jesus. Don't try to get yourself clean and then turn to Jesus. Mm. No, Listen, come to Him dirty. Come to Him the way you are. Don't try to fix yourself. If you, were, if you were able to fix yourself, you would have done it a long time ago. But we can't fix ourselves. You see, when I come dirty from work or I've been outside and I worked out and I come all sweaty and stinky, I don't try to clean myself and then walk into the shower. No, I walk into the shower clean and dirty and I let that water, that fresh water of the shower, cleanse me. That's exactly what Jesus will do when you come to Him. You come to Him dirty with drugs, with problems of sexuality, with problems of alcohol, all these problems, family problems, and let Him cleanse you. Let Him cleanse you. And you will see a miracle every day after day. Walking with Jesus is a miracle every day. Walking with Jesus is doing, seeing mm -hmm. something wonderful every day. Mm -hmm. Experiencing something wonderful every day. Not only He will change you, but He will use you, use you to change others now. Not by your power, not because you're good, but because He is good. And that's what he does. He's wanting, he came for people just like you and me. Dirty, filthy, people with problems. When he comes, he'll take all of that from you. Yes. And he will fill you with his goodness. Yes. He cares for you. Yes, he really does. Yes, he cares for you too. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Mr. God. Thank you. It's been good to uh, chat with Pastor God. You've heard of viewers this morning, our listeners this morning, you heard the way that Pastor God has explained this to you. And I think it's now a decision you've got to take. You know, give us a call right now. Test us on 0421 256697. Uh, moments of inspiration will be right back again. And we believe that God will be touching you again. Now, I said to you right now, we're going to have a special guest coming up as a uh, special musical guest with the second album that just be released. And uh, this is a good day. Remember, Jesus loves you. And keep listening to Moments of Inspiration. God bless you all.